Well, Santa Fe had it bad as well. This wreck on the train tracks left a lot of commuters stranded. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt continues our team coverage from there. Gabby. Dean, the snow has been coming down here for hours. Icy conditions have been causing problems on the interstate and here for train commuters. This was the scene along I-25 in Santa Fe just before 5 o'clock. Police say a female driver rolled her truck 182 feet onto the train tracks near the 599 exit. She was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Freezing temps and falling snow made for dangerous driving. You know, you just have to take it slow. You have to really watch what you're doing. It's really icy now. Emergency crews responded to nearly 30 accidents in the area. This one delayed train commuters for hours. We actually had my, uh, my wife's grandfather's mass was tonight, so we had a bunch of family coming in from Albuquerque, and none of them can make it because of the, the ice and the snow. Patrick Doherty's brother was stuck on the rail runner somewhere between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. We flew into Albuquerque, but we didn't want to go pick him up because the traveling was so bad. We figured a train was the best way. The train sat at a standstill here for hours. We spoke with some people that were trying to get back home to Albuquerque on the rail runner tonight, and some of them just gave up. I work at the inn, so I can just get a room there. Snow plows were out putting salt and cinder down, while some people just made the best of this Friday night. Plans have made itself. Now around 7.30 this evening, the rail runner was back up and running. One passenger described the experience as a trapped elevator, saying passengers just loosened up and made the best of it. Back to you.